Hey, hey everyone, today I want to show you how to transpose a table in Excel or convert a table from rows to columns in Excel. As you can see at the top of my screen, I've got a table with three years of data from 22 to 2024, and I've got the states or 10 states in the USA and their populations across the top. But I want to transpose this table and convert it from rows to columns where the states are now down the left hand side and the dates across the top. And I want this to be dynamic too. So if I change the population in California in 2022, from 39 million to 40 million and press enter, the table down below is going to automatically and dynamically update. So I'm gonna show you how this is done very quickly in two separate ways. So just pause and rewind if you need to. So let's jump to sheet two. And the first one I'm gonna show you is a copy and paste method. The second method is by using a formula. So let's highlight the table, right click, select copy, and select a cell where you want to paste the new table. Right click, go up to the top of the list where it says paste special. Gives you a whole bunch of options if you just want to paste the formulas, values, or some other method, but we're going to keep it at selected as all. We're going to go to the bottom right hand side and click transpose and press OK. And you can see the table has come over, but the only problem with this one is it's not dynamic. So if I change that population in California, from 39 million back to 40 million. You can see that the data hasn't been updated in that table down below. But I can show you how this is done very quickly using a formula. But don't forget, if you like what you see, please subscribe or click that like button. So let's go into the new cell and build this formula. Equals transpose. Open bracket, select the table you want to transpose. Close the brackets and press enter. And now you can see that the table has been transposed. The only problem is the formats don't come along with it, so you will have to do that separately, but it is dynamic. So if I go and change that California population number from 40 million back to 39 million, you can see the new table will automatically update. Now I'll just quickly go and update the formats. I'm just gonna select the other table, right click, copy, select that first cell, right click, Go to that option of the little icon with the paintbrush, which is copying the formats, and there you go. And if you want to see some other tips and tricks in Excel, check these two videos out. See you next time.